Today's very latest news coming to you first from the fabulous Patia Media Group here in Patia. And if you could like and subscribe, that would be amazing. Thank you. He lost the chance to become Prime Minister, then was forced to withdraw as a politician. But finally, the effective winner of Thailand's election has been cleared of any misdoings regarding his involvement with the media company, which, had it been true, would have seen him banned from politics. Coon Peter got his day in court and the court fully agreed that whilst he did own shares in a former media company, it is in effect a defunct company which had not operated for years but remained registered as a company for the purposes of completing its accounting. In fact, as most people knew, ITV PLC hadn't traded or operated as a media company for 17 years. But that didn't stop the election commission insisting that he shouldn't take any office. For now it's fully expected that he will regain leadership of his party and be able to sit in the Houses of Parliament. But it won't see him take the top job, as the current Prime Minister was duly elected after the Peter saga saw him unable to get sufficient votes last year. Coon Peter then? The poster boy for Thailand's political future is at least off the hook and back in the political business. All five sets of parents whose juvenile children were accused of causing the drowning of a Sakao woman now face charges of failing to properly raise their children. That is a real charge here in Thailand where parents are held responsible for their children's behaviour. With one of those parents a policeman, the outcome will at the very least be interesting. As CCTV tapes revealed that the woman's husband who'd originally confessed to her killing couldn't possibly have done it and the tapes show that clearly the youngsters attacked her. A Belgian man is being held by police on Phuket, as he is expected to be deported to face a prison term in his home country, where he was found guilty of attempted murder. The 36-year-old had been here for years, and even worked in a local nightclub. No word on how he was finally spotted. The death of an elderly Thai lady in Chantaburi is being seen as unnatural by police, as she and her family were embroiled in several land disputes that in the past included a courthouse murder back in 2019. She was found this week, face down in a pond. And a car thief who escaped from police custody, despite being handcuffed, is believed now to have been recaught. The errant Thai posted photographs of himself and a stolen car on social media. That led to him being nabbed, he was questioned, but took the opportunity to simply walk out of the police station as officers left him alone. CCTV shows him still wearing the handcuffs. Meanwhile at home, in tales of the weird emanate from Pattaya this week as police continue to investigate a Thai woman and a non-Thai man who together brought a registered privately owned lion into the city. The lion was legally registered in Ratchaburi, but was spotted being paraded through the city in an open-top car, with the animal clearly in it. Authorities have had a field day. The owners have been warned they face considerable fines and the removal of the animal. And higher authorities are considering a ban on private ownership. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 30 degrees dropping down to 23, it's going to be a hot one, though, with the real feel of 33, a sunny day, but hazy due to the continued smog. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or program, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.